Alright guys, we got some new toys today. Got the True Blue hose. I'll show you the box in a little while. Comes with this nice little fan purse. Got a little pocket in the front here. Removable strap on top. And inside, we've got the big beast. Now, I already went ahead and put it together and decided that uh, I'd go ahead and get it ready to go. So I went ahead and put on my 3 8 uh, fitting there and my quarter inch here. If you notice, they do give you two different sets of clamps. The one that I believe is more expensive looks a lot nicer than they give you this aluminum one that doesn't even fit right. Put it on there by itself without both pieces together, it kind of fits in there. It's huge. So anyhow, we got that there. Now what I was using prior to was 3 8 hoses from Appion. These right here made a humongous difference. So I'm really anticipating and hoping that these will make, or this one here is going to make an even bigger difference. What I plan on doing was just using one of these for my liquid line and then that on the suction line. That way, you know, I can at least try it out first and see what it's, you know, if it's even worth doing it, uh, going with that second hose. Here's my existing setup. I already had, uh, Actually, I got another set of another Appion somewhere. Got the 5 sixteenths and then traditional quarter inches. I've added my magnets to the ends of them. My favorite right now is the C and D valve core tools. I think these things are top notch. Um, this one here did okay, but the resolution sucks on it. So that was when I went to the Blue Vac, and this thing has been phenomenal. It's been uh, worth every penny. Now this kind of got a little bit of Freon in it when I used it last time. The coolest thing about these ones here is they have the leak rate, which you see there on the top right corner, and it gets it down to a, a tenth of a second there. And that uh, the battery life on these is really amazing too. They use a 9 volt battery. Now one thing I also did is I added a magnet to the back side of this. And so when you've got it, you can actually put it right on the side of a condenser or your van. Holds pretty good. They're pretty strong magnets. You get them at Home Depot. I believe uh, four or five of them was like 10 bucks. Now the pump, 6 CFM, made in America. So I went ahead and uh, added a little wrap here for it so that uh, we keep track of the wires. But the oil on this one's pretty well saturated. Um, I'm going to show you what it does when you have crappy oil. And we're going to do a test on just the pump only. All right, one of my killer dogs is out here and the other one too. So they're going to help uh, show us how to use the vacuum pump. We're going to go ahead and kick this thing on. We're going to see what our ultimate pull down is on just the vacuum pump by itself. They say on average you should be able to hit 20 uh, to 50, somewhere in that ballpark. All right, so we're going to bog out somewhere in this ballpark here, and I know this pump can do better than this. So got us an old oil container. I'd love to have that field piece vacuum pump. All right, we got some new black gold inside there. Pugsley, are you ready to do the vacuum? Is it going to work? All right, now let's see what she does. Huh. Oil's thicker, so, you know, probably got a lot to do with it. All right, this is quarter inch to quarter inch, three-eighths inside diameter, I believe. Usually had a three-eighths to quarter inch right here, a uh, flare adapter, and what I would do is I'd pull both of these, boom and boom, straight to my valve core tool. Now, this hose has already been degassed and all that happy stuff, and, uh, you know, it's a uh, couple years old. But I've never ran refrigerant in it, which you never do want to do that on your vacuum hoses. And we're going to pull and see how low we can get with just the hose only. Just got the stopwatch started. Let's go ahead and get her turned on and see what we get. Now, when I first bought these hoses, they couldn't get below, I think, 150 or something like that. It just would not get down low and I let it run for an hour and a half, two and a half hours just to try to prep the hoses and get them as good as you can get them. And these have brand new seals in them. I'm always up keeping my hoses and gaskets and all that stuff. But you're going to see, you know, even though you're technically a quarter inch here and a quarter inch here, because no matter where you want to slice it, you're still a quarter inch on your valve core tool. You're not going to get around that. No matter what, you're only going to have a quarter inch to work with. 
Now this kit came with the uh, valve core tool of theirs and it came with fittings. Also comes with a uh, half inch monster which I don't have that kind of fitting on my pump anyway. And here's their valve core tool from True Blue. Looks, uh, looks very similar to my C and D. I mean, if you look at it, they both got cut marks similar. And you got your Appion, which like I said, my Appions have been a little bit disappointing. I've had, uh, they were great at first, but I rebuilt them and they still just don't seem like they have the, the holding power. Now they do have a better ability to pull the valve core out than what some of the others. I mean, I'm not going to say they're junk, but like I said before in my previous videos, that I seen the Stolting Ice Cream Company uh, using C&D and that's when I decided I was going to give them a shot. So uh, what we got going on here, it's been running for a little while. What do we got? Two minutes and 45 seconds. We're at a uh, buck 35. Yeah, these are five foot nine inches, five foot 10 inches long. And the, the blue Smurf is uh, 1.5 meter. Uh, it's a little shorter, obviously shorter is better. Where we're at right now, we're still dropping, but my gosh, we're really pokey dokeying around here. We're at uh, 5 minutes, 30 seconds. That's how much velocity we're losing from here to there. All right, that's at 6 minutes, 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and kill this. What we're going to do now on this one here, we're going to go straight to the 3 8 port. So we're going to connect right there, and then we'll just put a regular cap over the quarter inch. All right, just started the stopwatch over again. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Holy crap. Now look, I have not even I have not even used these hoses yet, okay? I have not used these hoses. They said to use a vacuum pump on them for 10 minutes to get them degassed and all that to get started. Holy crap! They said freaky fast? You ain't flipping kidding. That is nuts! Wow! 55, I mean, you've seen that. That is nuts. I couldn't even hit that with a 3 8 hose. That's how much conductance value is in that blue, uh, in, in, in that littler hose. You don't even want to know what it would be like if you was using a quarter inch. Matter of fact, I can show you, but I don't feel like being here all night. He even finds it amazing. And so does that one. Holy cow. We're pretty much stalling out about where the pump was about good for. We pretty much hit ultimate vacuum in less than a minute and 30 seconds uh, versus, uh, I think it was seven or eight minutes on the other one, and I didn't even get below 110. Okay, well, that's... That's a hellacious difference. So think about it. If you're going to get it to the gauge that quick, you're going to get it into your system that quick. So just like they said, the degassing deal here and all that other happy jazz, checking your hose for leaks and all that. But if you're able to hit 25, you should be able to hit 50 according to that right there. And we're doing better than that. We literally hit every bit of what the pump was able to do by itself so there's almost no loss unbelievable all right just started the stopwatch over again we've got he's completely open we're down to nothing we got the new accu tool valve core tool there and uh we're going to pull this down and see what uh how fast she can do it now this tank was obviously used not too long ago so there could be uh, some residual freon in there Usually what I'd do is I'll use two 3 8 hoses, pull on both ports there, and then, like I said, do it right to the vacuum pump. And it usually did it fairly quickly. All right, it took a little while. We're at about three minutes, and she's finally starting to drop. Now, like I said, it's really cold out here, and this Freon basically uh, is probably still in the bottle. But still, look how quickly we're moving. 
Look at your your rate there. You're at about 30 microns a second. Three minutes, 40 seconds, and we're already cruising down. Now it's obviously slowing down a little bit. All right, five minutes and a half, and we're at uh, 700. Now we're going to redo this once with the three eighths and the big blue hose here and see how she does. Plus, like I said, it's so cold out here. That the hardest time to pull down something is when it's cold because uh, it's wanting to condense into a liquid. So here we are trying to pull it out in a vapor. All right, we're coming into the 500 mark here at seven minutes and a half. Can you figure this is a 50 pound cylinder, so they call it. 47 pounds WC. Figure a regular residential system holds anywhere from 7 to 15 pounds. So you just did two to three times the size system by pulling down on this. Now when you valve this thing off too, you want to make sure you open that ball valve halfway and get the air out from underneath the uh, valve. There will be some trapped in the valve itself. We're going to come up to the magic 500 number here right at nine and a half minutes. And you want to slowly close that thing off so that you got all the air out from underneath of it and we'll valve it off. Let's see whether she holds. See how the leak rate now starts to adjust? That usually means you got yourself a pretty dry system. You're not ratcheting up real high. And uh, there's quite a few good articles on it. It also means my sil uh, cylinder seals are actually halfway decent, which is pretty surprising. Um, which is awesome. My valve core tool is holding. So we're going to go ahead and release this, and then we're going to start over, but this time we're going to use the 3 hose. All right, we got the three eighths hose connected. Got the uh, blue vac hooked up right there. Put it, take her out of sleep mode. Both valves are open. We're gonna go ahead and hit the stopwatch right now. Boom, it's going. Two seconds in. Kick her on. Let's see how she does. All right, guys, my battery went dead on my phone, but right now we are at 11 minutes. And we're down to 82, 81 microns. But I did, since it was going dead, I decided I'd record it. But we hit 1,100 microns in two minutes. We were down to 500 microns in three and, three and three quarters. But look at those times that I had there. That is just plain unbelievable. Unbelievable times. So you figure on average... You know, that first pull down that I had had oil. Uh, you know, some oil probably in the tank, a little bit of refrigerant possibly, and that's really going to slow it down. Um, but we, uh, for the most part, of, even at the end there, I said point, uh, half a micron a, a second in the pull down state. Right now we're finally dogging out at uh, 75. I've never, ever been able to pull that low on a tank before, but this is showing some real good possibilities here. Uh, makes me really wonder what it would have been like with two of the blue hoses. Uh, just really didn't want to shell out 350 bucks uh, to get it right off the bat until I made certain that it was actually going to do something. Uh, but like I said, this has been pretty awesome just having two 3 8 hoses. So now adding this 3 quarter inch inside diameter hose along with my 3 8 I think it's going to be more than satisfactory for what I need to do. But I just wanted to do a quick overview, show you what uh, basically I had. You know, as always, little nylog goes a long ways. And uh, another quick tip, too, on the CPS gauge. I never use this thing. But if you do, uh, either flip your battery around backwards or take it out. If you notice, that's where the prongs are at. I flip it around. For some reason, there's, it seems like there's something defective with the CPS. Um, far as it uh, would go dead for no good reason. Now, like I said, the only thing that looked a little jakey is that uh, hose clamp is uh, Pac-Man there. I think that looks a little, little skank, but you know what? Results are what matters. 
Uh, I suppose if it bothers me that much, I could always get the other one there. But, you know, that's that's where we're at. Next thing is probably going to be a 3 inch hose. Who knows? Turbo diesel uh, vacuum pump. So, that's, uh, that's where we're at, guys. That's going to wrap this one up. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.